Jake Huntington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Lisa Pilati, and we've got the backside of what I believe is part of the, the machine. Exactly. And, and why is that here? It is here to show people that we have delivered the machine at scale. So we have gone from having prototype non-working hardware one year ago to scaling all the way up to 40 nodes. And so we have 10 nodes within an enclosure, able to do that with copper, but then enclosure to enclosure to get that large scale, we're using photonics. So here you're seeing the photonics that were developed by HPE to enable scaling at lower power, cost, and latency. So what can I do with 40 nodes? With 40 nodes, you can do a lot. You have 1,280 cores of high-performance cavium processors, and in addition, you have 160 terabytes of memory available to you. So you can run some pretty amazing applications. What, what's an example of something that somebody is using this for? Today, here at Discover, we are running a large-scale graph inference problem. And what we're doing is we're using data from the internet from 2012 and working to identify malicious users. So we have a bunch of different DNS and IP addresses that we have in the database and then looking at the nearest neighbor trying to decide whether that is a known good user or possible suspected bad user and then we do compute and we do repeated iterations and so then after some number of iterations we converge on a solution and we're able to identify malicious users. We do things like that today but with a large amount of memory, instead of being able to only look at five minutes, let's say, worth of data, we're able to look at two weeks of data. And if you can look at that much more data, you're gonna be able to pick up on weird patterns, weird user cases, and better identify those malicious users and security threats. So is this something that is, with outside of the, the machine, of course, um, with typical computing infrastructures now not really feasible? Well, we do have some large memory systems and there are changes that we have done in the machine program to software to enable existing applications to run better on our existing systems like Superdome X. But again, they are somewhat limited in how much memory they can scale to and managing coherency across a large number of processors is really challenging. And with this type of architecture, you don't need to manage coherency across a large number of processors because your processors are accessing the memory directly. Are there any other advantages to this versus a, a traditional bare metal configuration? One of the other benefits of this is that you can scale memory and compute independently. In today's processor-centric architecture, your memory is attached to your processor. And if you need more memory, you have to scale them in lockstep. And this processor has to talk to that processor to talk to that memory. So you might have to pay, you might be paying for more compute when what you really needed was more memory. With a memory-driven architecture, you can scale your compute compute resources completely independently of your memory resources. So you're really only having to pay for the hardware functionality that your particular application needs. That's very cool. It is cool. We are very excited. All right. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you.